very big. Listen, I, I said for the last two or three weeks I've said to you know, it's good a performance and people should enjoy it because the performances have been exceptional. Uh, today is probably as bad as I can remember in six year here. Uh, when I first, even when I was here the last time, I, I felt it was a terrible performance. We were just no at it. We never started the game well. We were always halfway up the hill, as, as I described them there. We, we're, we're a team that need to start on the front foot. We need to start with intensity. I speak about that all the time. And today, we never started at all. And we were chasing and we were trying to up that hill. We just couldn't get there at no point in the game. Every time we got a wee glimmer of hope in terms of bringing it back to within two goals, we then shot ourselves on the foot you know, almost five minutes immediately after it. No good enough. And, and ultimately, it could have been a lot more. I mean, I thought 6 2 flattered us, I'll be honest with you. I thought 6 2 flattered us. So, some days you've got to be honest, and as a manager, I mean, I'm disappointed a wee bit myself because I felt I possibly could have turned Paul Woods off earlier because Paul was struggling before the game. Uh, but he says he wanted to get it warm and the injury warm and take a chance on it. And I just, you know, like I said to, to my coaching team, should we take him off? Should we take him off? And we probably should have took him off earlier because we suddenly take him off for 2 0 down. And it's, uh, so I take full responsibility for that. I should have probably got Kyle Turner on the pitch quicker. Uh, but because Paul Woods has been playing as well as he has, you, you hope that he's maybe going to get through it and it never happened. I mean, recent performances have been good, Stevie, so that will hurt even more. Oh, it does, it does. I mean, that's a, that's a disappointing thing because I felt in the last three or four weeks we've had a, a level of consistency that we've been looking for uh, and then we're going through that performance in. But ultimately, it's, we're all responsible, the players, the management team, and uh, when you, you, you suffer a defeat like that and a heavy defeat like that, You've got to take full responsibility and you've got to come in on Tuesday and Thursday and work hard and, and look forward to next Saturday because we have had 90 minutes to do something about that game and we've chose to do nothing. What do you put it down to, as you say, having performed so well in the last three, four games to then never really get going? Is, it, is that it, that you, you don't start on the front foot and it's, it's really difficult to get into it? I think there's no many teams in this country, uh, probably outside the Premier League and probably outside the, the, the top three or four in the Premier League, that can start and then go through the gears and, and suddenly you know, come on in a game. We, we're not a team like that, we're a team that needs to start on the front foot, we're a team that needs to start with real intensity uh, and after two minutes we gave the ball away in the corner and, and our broth are straight at us and we never really recovered for that. We were flat and, and our broth were miles in front of us and I thought first half we were lucky to go in 4-1 uh, down, I thought it could have been a lot more actually, I thought they could have been 6-7 in head and that's not exaggerating, I thought they were so far in front of us. Second half we come out, do you know we start the second half, no too bad and then we get a goal away to make it 5-1 and then we score a goal and then you get yourself a glimmer of hope with 25-30 minutes to go and almost within 5 minutes we give another one away and that was just the story of our day, that was the story of our day, we are never at it if we start to finish. Ryan Wallace hit both posts were shot just before they went up the park and scored. If that had gone in, would it change things? Or was that wishful thinking? It's two one. It's the fine lines. It's the fine lines. It probably would have been sore on our both because uh, I felt they thoroughly deserved the victory today and they were so far in front. So probably it would have been sore on them and sore of reflection in the game. But sometimes you need those things to happen for you when you're not having a, a good day at the office like we weren't today. Uh, but it wasn't to be, and you know, deservedly so. Our both took the three points and, and you know a, a performance that was very very good. I've got to say. I suppose, as you say as well, that um, can't do anything about today now. It's just a case of looking to the future and something that you, you can control. No, you know me, Cameron. You know, I spoke to you yesterday. I, I wasn't. I, I don't get carried away with you know the running results that we've had recently, and I don't get too despondent. I've said that to players. You're never going to get that for me. I just I look at this. This is a this is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. I think if you look at the league, somebody said to me they were three points off second place. So. That's this league. Well, Topsy -topsy. You know, because because we've had that run of form, we're still right in the pack, and there's no there's no reason why this team can't go on another run uh, like we've had in recent in recent weeks. So, you know, I I'll look at the I'll look at the table at the end of May, and I've always said by the end of May, I, I still think we've got a squad good enough to be competing. That's great. Right. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Thanks, David. Thank